Leo. Hello, Leo. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you, Leo. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your view. Yeah, I know I do. Thanks for the like. Thanks for the subscription. And a big shout out for me to you, Leo. Oh, I love my Leos. If you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, Leo, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Appreciate it all, large or small. I will be doing a little freestyle tarot here. A little freestyle tarot, Leo. These can talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. They can also talk about love. I got some love cards right here. I got the witch's tarot. I'm going to freestyle with that as well. Um, the Mystic Moon Oracle. We're throwing a couple of those on your shred, Leo. And we're going to top it off with a couple of majors from the beautiful, beautiful Starman tarot. A uh, quick reminder, i got a meet and greet coming up a few short days away. Still time to plan a road trip if you would like. It's going to be in beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. Sunday, June 23rd. I got a lot of food coming in. I got enough food for all day. I got wine for all day. I got a DJ. Going to be playing music all day. And old Ramblin' Mike, I'm going to be there playing tarot all day long with my friends one-on-one -on -one across the table from you. All of that that I mentioned right there, the food, the wine, the music, and Ramblin' Mike's tarot reading are all included in the one price that you see right there. You'll find the link in the description area of all of my videos. Leo, you know the party ain't going to be the same unless you're there. Sunday, June 23rd. Tarot time, Leo. Tarot time. Tarot time, my lovely, lovely Leos. Let's do it. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, wow, change. Damn it, Leo. Change showed up around here. Okay. Okay, all right. That's the Pale Rider showed up around here, Leo. It's a big Scorpio card. It is a card about death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. This is a card of change. Hope everybody's been good boys and good girls when this card isn't overall. Let's see what's going on around here, Leo. Big old pale rider showing up. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. Tell me more, Leo. Leo, Leo, babies. Oh, it's, it's your major arcana. Strength came in. Strength because of some major change. These are major arcanas, Leo. That's your major. That's a Scorpio major arcana. Oh, what is going on around here, man? Hang on to your hat, Leo. Hope everybody's been good boys and good girls. Tell me more. Tell me more. Leo, babies. Leo. 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 Um, four swords came out. It jumped. Um, that is a card of spending time with source. Healing the heart, healing the mind. There's some kind of change going on around here, Leo. There is definitely some kind of change going on. I got seven of wands right here. This is my heroes card. Okay, this is for my this is for my good boys and my good girl Leos. This is my heroes card right here. It's uh, definitely fire energy. And it's got those damn uh, pokey stick people right there. You see them? There they are. And uh, Leo with the high ground right there. Now, this is a card about uh, doing what's best for you. It's a blocking energy, moving forward, quiet time with source right here, healing the heart, healing the mind. It's got that four sword. There may be some Leos getting ready to cut something out of their life that's no longer serving them. That's what I'm picking up around here. So I'll start with the death card right there. 
death card, see, and then uh, six swords right there. Now, six swords is a card of movement. Um, it's a mental card. Um, so first we think about moving. <laughs> Then we may actually get in the boat and get on out. So I got a seven of wands, the six swords. After maybe a period of thinking about it, this is thinking about it again, spending time with source, cutting an energy off. What is that death card about? <laughs> Leo, I want you doing what's best for you. You did pull the heroes card on here. Perfect, perfect. That's about, you know, going forward in your life. Don't care who likes it or who don't like it. Anyway, interesting cards. Leo, tell me more. Tell me more. Six of Swords. Six of Swords. And a Fool card came out. Oh. <laughs> I can't talk about how much I love this Fool card. I do love this Fool card. He's awesome. Um... But that is the reset button. That is about a fresh start and a new beginning, a leap of faith and a new direction in life. Oh, loaded, loaded, loaded. Oh, my warrior. My warrior. Nine of Wands showed up, Leo. Ah, my warrior. Ain't got no quitting sense. Got that Ace of Wands in their hand right there. Uh, and the fool has that ace of wands too. Okay. I'm going to get a different deck out here, man. Anyway, I want you doing what's best for you. We pulled a death card. We pulled your strength card, Leo. We pulled quiet time with source. That could be where you drop a sword on a situation that's no longer serving you for your highest good. Seven of wands is my hero's card. It's about deciding to do what's best for you. And uh, moving in a new direction in life. And then these are all about new directions in life. And the nine can talk about the closing of a cycle because the tarot only goes to ten. Let's see what the witch's tarot has to say on this. Leo, Leo, my lovely, lovely Leos. Wow, that's interesting, ain't it? I'm going to shuffle this in a minute, but I shuffled it before. I said, hello. This is a judgment card right here. Judgment. I mean, traditionally, that is uh, Gabriel, the archangel. But this card says karma. This card says karma. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It is a judgment card. Judgment's falling around here. These are kind of heavy reads tonight. I'm going to go on with it. I'm going to go on with it. Tell me more. Tell me more. My warrior. My warrior. Looks like Leo moving in a new direction in life. Doing what's best for you. Letting the past be in the past. Somebody may be reaping some kind of karma around here. All right. Here we go. Leo. Witch's tail. Give me one for the board. Leo. Wow, where are you going? Wow, that's the land of bliss. Is that where the boat's going, Leo? <laughs> is that where the boat's going? Uh, <laughs> we're out of here, Barney. I, I, I. Ah, oh, Leo, ten cups showed up. Um, well, ten cups could could talk about you know that that's an ending card. Tens are endings. Can be. Can be something that maybe you thought was quite blissful at one time, um, but uh, not anymore. I don't know. You're getting nice cards. A world card came out here for you, Leo. This is my high-flying Leo I'm reading for around here. Releasing yourself from some kind of toxic energy. Uh, Ten of Cups of World card about an old cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. The nine to the ten to the world card. There's your, there's your boat. Here's your boat one more time, six swords, heading towards a much better world, a much better place, a much better life, some kind of breakthrough, death, birth, resurrection, major transformation for Leo, a king of pinnacles showed up, um, the 
we'll see what that's about. It's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Wow, there's a tower behind that. There's a tower behind that earth energy right there. Change, man. Change, Leo. They got some change going on around here. There's your boat again. There's your boat again, Leo. Ooh, man, I'm going to put it on the board. just keeps wanting to show up. Well, 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 well. Uh, you know, King of Pentacles energy, male or female, I don't know. They could be somebody that's just a little too focused on the coin. Anyway, I got a tower after them and the Six of Swords. Michael, row your boat ashore card came up. I see change. I see a new world coming in here for Leo. A new world. Some that you may have thought was quite blissful at one time. That has changed. Tell me more, tell me more, Leo. I see a new world for you. Oh, oh, wow, what's going on around here? Might be time for you to change. Top of the deck, six of cups, bottom of the deck. A hierophant energy. That came out where the boat's going. That came out where the boat's going here, Leo. This has been showing up here for you a while. This is a beautiful Six Cups energy. It's a beautiful soulmate energy. You know, it's a land of bliss, huh? It could be a past life lover. Maybe somebody that you know. Hierophant energy on it. That's why this death card's here. Tower, possibly on this king or queen or whoever that is right there. Kind of feels like somebody that was over-focused on the money. Leo wants some love, baby. Leo wants some love, so six of cups, six, six swords and cups. That's a beautiful energy, and the Hierophant energy is a very spiritual energy. Oh, and there's the lover. Hi, Leo. Oh, my goodness. There's the lover showing up around here. Hi, Leo. Here's my cup. <laughs> May have to go across the river to get it. Is that the river of sticks right there? This is, a, this, is a, this is a love offer that keeps showing up around here. This is a love offer that keeps showing up around here. But tell me about this lover. Tell me about this lover. Oh. It could be somebody interested in you. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, three of pins to a very single. Is this a very single Leo after that tower? A very single Leo looking good, man. Nine of pentacles. Oh, it might be a predictive energy right here. Definitely time to get in the boat. I got two Six of Swords that showed up around here. My lovely, lovely Leos. Um, let's shake them out. Let's shake them out, Leo. Here we go. Out, out, out of Leo's heart. Out of Leo's spread. Out of Leo's life. It looks like uh, Leo's off to the land of six cups. There's a hierophant over here. There's ten cups. There's a lover on the pony. And uh, there's my Leo right there. My independent, self-assured, confident, single Leo. With a brand new world showing up. An old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Leo. Give me a... Uh, couple of major, excuse me, the Mystic Moon Oracle. Looks like change for the better. That's the power of the tower. The tower, it shows us what we don't want. That way we quit putting energy into it. It's supposed to springboard us into a whole new world. And that's the, that's the cards that came out from the beautiful Witch's Tarot right here. For my Leos. Oh, wow. Awakening. Awakening. Okay. Okay. Go on with yourself, Leo. Awakening. Tell me more, Leo. The metamorphosis came out. That's like the death card right there. Change. Change. 
Leo's seeing things differently these days. Impressive, my friend. Looks like you're going to row your boat up to the sweet world of six cups, ten cups, Hierophant, the lava, and you, you looking amazing, darling. Oh, I like all this. The awakening, metamorphosis. Tell me a little bit more. Wow. Leo. <laughs> Come on with yourself. Come on with yourself. Here we go. You know, this is that kind of card. Um, this kind of spread right here. Kind of spread right here, balancing the scales. Um, you know, when we raise our vibration, okay? I, I should have a warning on my show. It says, you know, there's no going back. Once you step into consciousness expansion, you're just going to keep on going up. That's uh, the Leo that I'm reading for around here. It's what it looks like to me. Uh, many times when we try to raise our vibration, and we do, we'll go up to another level right here. We got a friend over here, you know. We got a friend over here, and if they don't want to come up, if they don't want to, you know, so we'll try and bring our vibration down here for a little bit, you know, so we can still play with them. But if they don't, if, <laughs> if they don't. If they don't come up, man, you know what happens? Spring like that, there they go, oh shit, boom, over there into the bushes somewhere because, well, it's a vibrational game that we play here on Earth, by the way. I'm reading about a, a Leo here that raised their vibration. Looks like somebody's about to get slung off into the bushes over there. So the Leo can get over here into this beautiful world of 10 cups, six cups, hair fat, the lover, all that kind of fun stuff. Probably somebody that's much more vibrationally in alignment with you. Anyway, give me a love card here, Leo. Leo, somebody gets slung off in the bushes. <laughs> somebody, somebody. That's the power of the tower, man, I'm telling you. So let's see you around here, my lovely Leos. Give me a card right here, Leo. Oh, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Well... With that story right there, um, this picture looks like somebody's not going to be excited about the about the conversation, Leo. Anyway, heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversations came out. Wow, divine timing. Let's put this up here by all this bliss, the awakening, vibration, metamorphosis. This is a powerful read for Leo right here. Flying to another level. Uh, six cups, Hierophant, ten cups, the love pony. To my independent, self-assured, confident Leo, divine timing. You know, that starts now. Oh, leaving the old needy and clingy one. The needy and clingy one. Oh, God, Leo. <laughs> That's the pink devil right here, man. The needy and clingy. And says addictions on there, too. No, hell no, man. Hell no, hell no, hell no. Give me one more love card for my Leo, please. Leaving old Mr. and Mrs. Needy and Clingy over there in the bushes somewhere. Okay, <laughs> That's a forgiveness card, Leo. A forgiveness card. And ooh, look at this romantic feelings. Ooh. Well, I hope you may already be rocking that right now. If not, soon and very soon. Here's the key, ain't it? Here's the key. Here's the key to raising your vibration. Loving yourself first and foremost. Gorgeous, Leo. Look at that, a little walking and talking. A little walking and talking. It says it's time for you to disconnect from the world. Okay, Four Swords is on here. That's got some people walking and talking over there with hair fan garb on. Anyway, uh, we'll probably pull cards on that here in a little bit. Right now, it looks like Leo, man. Some are getting slung up into the bushes because they just won't raise their vibration. Here we go. Leo, babies. Leo. My lovely, lovely Leo. Oh, Temperance came out. I told you, this is nice. Uh, Archangel Michael's got some soulmates in their hand. Six of cuppers, maybe. Past life lover, even. Um, unfolding right here. Divine timing unfolding. Here we go, here we go. Leo, 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 Leo. And a hair fan. Damn. Leo, Michael working on hair fan energy over here for you. Anyway, do what's best for you, Leo. It is a very natural thing for us to raise our vibration. 
if your friends or your family don't want to raise their vibration, do not be surprised if they get slung off into the bushes because it's time to fly high. Anyway, Leo, if you made it to this part in the reading, thank you very much for your view. Appreciate that so very, very much. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, Leo, smash that subscription button right there, huh? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button right, right there. Thank you, Leo. Appreciate that so very much. Hopefully I'll see you. Sunday, June 23rd, you can sit across the table with me, play a little bit of tarot, have a little bit of wine, a little something to eat. All my love, Leo. Bye for now. Well, 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 well. Change.